I'm feeling like it's time for a makeover. And not just any makeover. I'm gonna make over my front door. That's what today's video is all about. Hello, my equestrian friends. It's me, Lisa, the budget equestrian. Welcome back to a new video. And like I said a few seconds ago in the beginning of this video, today I'm going to make over my front door. Not doing this on the inside, but I'm gonna do it on the outside. And the reason I decided to do this today is it's springtime and this is an excellent time, at least where I live, to do some painting outside. Because if you wait until it's hot outside, like in the middle of summer, the paint's gonna dry way too fast. So we're gonna go make over the front door and give an updated look to the door that I have. So my front door originally was white. We bought this door and I love this door, but it was basic white, it wasn't painted. So then I decided that I was going to paint it and I painted it a color that I thought would look good, but my husband wasn't too crazy about the purple. So then I started trying to figure out what color would look good with the gray house. And I found the Heritage all-in-one paints, you know, the chalk paints that I use to make over my trash cans into tall planters. Well, I thought, you know what? It did so well with those. Why not try it on the front door and see what happens? So I bought a sample size of the Heirloom Traditions all-in-one paint in Mediterranean and figured we'd paint the front door and see how it works. Okay, so this is my front door and this is what it looked like before I got to painting it. Kind of a plum purple color. And what I didn't show is I actually cleaned the door really well first with pine salt and water and I let it dry. And then I started taping off around the door locks because I didn't want to take them off. That would just be too much work for me. So. I just used some painter's tape that I had and just kind of put that around the edges of the deadbolt and then the door handle. This was probably the most time consuming part of the entire project was just putting the tape on because I don't want to get paint all over my <laughs> deadbolt and the door handle. And then I also use the painter's tape around the window portion of the door. And this is the blue painter's tape. And I think I got this in a kit, so I didn't really pay anything for it. And I figured, you know what? Let's just use it and see if it works. Typically, I really like the frog tape, but I didn't have any frog tape. The frog tape is the green painter's tape, and it works really well to make sure you don't get bleed through around the edges, even better than the blue painter's tape I found when I was painting a bunch of horse jumps. Now this is a set of brushes that I found on Amazon. They were around $13 for all three of them. And I think you can see which brush I used for the painting. Yep, it's this one. And I really like that point, kind of a chiseled edge. It works perfectly for a door, especially like mine where it has the little nicks and crannies. And then this is the paint that I bought. This is Heirloom Traditions All-in-One Paint in Mediterranean. And I think this was an eight ounce jar of paint and it was around $16 and it was plenty for my front door, just to paint the one side of the door. So once I had everything taped off, then I just had to paint. 
And if you're planning on doing something like this on your front door, I would highly encourage you to do this in several stages or several coats of paint. Now, the first coat of paint, I didn't put as much of the paint onto the paintbrush and therefore onto the door. So you just do a little bit at a time and this will help to prevent any runs that can happen. And these chalk paint brushes are perfect for this paint, which I mean, it makes sense because they're chalk paint brushes, right? And I honestly think that I got such good results because I did use a chalk paint brush. You could use a regular paintbrush or a foam roller, but I think if you want to get outstanding results, you need to use the right tool for the job. And for the heirloom traditions, chalk paints are all in one paint. These type of chalk paint brushes are perfect and they work really well. So this is the first coat of paint that is going on the door. And I'm just taking my time and making sure that I get a nice coat of paint, but it's not so heavy that it's not going to cause any runs. I think I like painting the little inside rectangles the best. And then getting around the door handle and the deadbolt, that was a little more challenging, but the size of the paintbrush really makes it pretty easy to do. Now this is after one coat of the paint. And yes, you can see that there's still some show through of that purple plum color, but that's okay. I'll let it dry for a couple of hours and then recoat with a second layer of paint. Now this layer of paint, I was a little bit more liberal, I guess you could say, and I applied a little bit heavier coat of the paint. But I also made sure to only go in one direction, which is really hard because it's fun to go back and forth with the paintbrush. But I refrained from that as best I could and just had the paint going in one direction. Now, when I was doing the window, I could be a little bit more carefree and go in both directions. And once I was finished with my second coat of paint, then I took off all of the painter's tape around the window and around the door handles as well. And I have to say this painter's tape actually worked pretty good. I got some pretty crisp lines. There was a little bit of a little bleed through you can see on that bottom part of the window, but overall, I think it turned out pretty good. And this is the paint job all done. That chalk paint brush worked really well. I got a really nice smooth finish on the door and I can't really see a lot of brush strokes, which is good. And that is the door and I think it looks beautiful. But I wasn't quite finished. I wanted to have a springtime wreath, so I got some flowers from Walmart and this boxwood wreath actually came from Walmart too. And then I just applied some different greenery and then some different flowers so I could have a wreath for my brand new front door. Isn't it pretty? And then just to attach the wreath, I had it on some floral wire and just taped it with clear tape on the back of the door. And there it is. 
and this is my front door makeover all done. This is a nice transformation. My husband likes the color a lot better and I think it goes really nice with the gray. All right, it's a little bit windy out here, so I hope you can hear me okay, but what do you think? This is the finished product and it took me less than a day to completely make over my front door. Super easy, super affordable, and I even got a new wreath out of the deal. So that's pretty awesome, I think. So hopefully that shows you how easy you can transform the front door of your home for less than $50. And that includes the wreath. If I was just doing the door itself, just painting the door, I'd say it cost me probably around $25 total. That includes the set of three chalk paint brushes, as well as the chalk paint itself, even factoring in if I had to buy a roll of painter's tapes. So I think you can see it's a very affordable option if you're thinking of either getting a new door or you wanna try painting it yourself. I'm really happy with the Heirloom Traditions chalk paint. I think you can see it looks beautiful and it was really easy to do, even easier than using Rust-Oleum or any other type of oil-based enamel. I really like the finish. I think it's beautiful and hopefully it will last. All of my other painting projects that I've done with Heirloom Traditions chalk paint have held up really well. So I'm pretty certain that this paint job is gonna last. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY projects product reviews, and horse-related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.